Let's talk about it. We need to talk about a couple of things in this crypto world. You know, um, I think this is going to be a pretty good video for me to actually explain who I am in my situation and why I can I can speak for black men in crypto. And this video also is going to be something that hopefully garners the attention of masses or um, just a, a broader audience. You know, you see this post right here, and this is a project on, I guess, Flare Networks. And it says, we're proud to have begun the work on the catalyst, whatever this catalyst is, and to be partnering with Malcolm X's family for our first collection, allowing members to step within the metaverse. You know, our first step towards bridging these different worlds with the NFT space. Okay, I guess this is their attempt at saying, hey, we're a business and we care about black people. This is how I'm looking at this. And, um, you know, this is a horrible example. If, 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 you, if you wanted to say that you cared about uh, somebody's race, I mean, yes, it has Malcolm X's family. Great, that's great. Malcolm X was a great guy. You know, even I grew up on a Muslim background, so I understand everything. But a NFT project with Malcolm X's family isn't going to help the kids in the neighborhoods that are witnessing these traumatic events happen to them every day. Murders, robberies, any rapings, any the, the worst things you can imagine these kids in these environments are actually going through. And what we're going to do is start bringing some of these kids on the from these environments to YouTube to show you all what they think about things like this. I'm going to bring you I'm going to bring a kid to you and I'm going to I'm going to tell the kid to read a post like this and I'm going to ask him, "Hey kid, how do you believe that Malcolm, a Malcolm X NFT project is going to change your life, kid? And I want to show, I want to show you all how this is not going to help this kid in this environment. Yes, the technology is great. It's an NFT. We know how this market is moving. It's great to learn about that stuff. The kid, the kid needs resources. The kid has to worry about, this is an NFT project. A kid doesn't even have a laptop in these environments to get on the internet to buy the laptop or to, to buy a laptop to get an NFT. This does nothing for the people that they act like they're trying to act like they care about. And, and what I'm calling for is minority groups of all races, Philippines, Blacks, Mexicans, Indian, whatever, whatever minority, if you have darker skin and you've ever felt some type of way because of the melanin in your skin, something we cannot change, I need you all to, if this is something that you all agree with, I need you all to share this message and especially those who are in some of these environments, these inner city environments. You know, I'll share a life story with with you all, myself. Just just one one of the one of the stories that growing up in these environments. Just the, let me, because people keep making these things, bro, and it does nothing. A NFT project is not going to help the little kid that's walking down the street that needs to go to therapy, that needs a tutor, that needs a father. 
we he needs resources he needs money to go to the store to buy deodorant these kids don't even have the basics necessities to live i know a kid that he has four brothers he is only 13. he is taking care of a five-year-old and these people believe that they can just simply make an nft project and slap a black family on it and be like yeah we are in it for you this is bull this is bull and this is why this is why what i'm doing on twitter this is why we are doing exactly what we're trying to do we feel that minorities should have a safe place on the xrpl and other blockchains as well across this whole industry we want to work with ripple x dev and ripple in every cryptocurrency company every blockchain company we want to we want to work with the government for government assistance funding we need funding we need resources for these kids that's what we want to do we want to develop a fund for disadvantaged male minorities yes and i said specifically male minorities and we also do want to do it for disadvantaged women minorities and others but we're focusing on minority males that are straight that need guidance to get where they need to go and be productive citizens in the world we're tired of getting classified as thugs as degenerates unsmart unfocused violent people we are people that are trying to advance in a system that is meant to trap us and keep us down look at this really quickly we're going to read through this presentation because i'm so tired and I know I'm not the only person. We constantly see the they these companies, huge companies. Just imagine how much money Flare and Flare Flare Networks, whatever. I know these two different two different companies, but just imagine how much money Flare Networks has made over the last year. Just imagine how much money Ripple has made over the last year. Why can't we get a small proportion to help build these communities up in, in a direct way? We give these people who are using these resources to some of these companies. So, so now that little kid doesn't have to figure out how to get a job. He has the resources to get trained on the blockchain for this innovative technology world is coming into play he doesn't have to worry about hey maybe maybe what do i need to do to figure out what's the next big thing maybe if people told kids in these environments all you have to do is get on a computer and type in a couple of codes you will be able to change the color of this background to whatever color you want it they don't tell us that stuff. How is a kid that is surrounded in a war zone supposed to be able to figure this stuff out? I've witnessed over nine people die in my lifetime. from just simply living being walking to the store 
And I know it's much more of kids like me. And I'm a young man, younger kids like me. They've seen way worse in their own households. And you telling me an NFT project, this, this, is, this is the step. No, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to talk about you, but this is not helping us at all. This doesn't help the little kid. I need to get laptops for these kids. I need to have a spot. We need to have a, a building for where this kid can come and safely use the laptop because in his environment, his house, his house keep getting shot up or his apartment complex can keep getting shot up because people keep selling drugs around the neighborhood. These are the things nobody wants to talk about, but we're going to, we're going to talk about this stuff. We're tired of it. We're simply tired of it. And we're not going to get passed up on any space like this. You all want to give us the bare minimum. So we're tired of competing in your markets. You're going to force us to create our own markets where we have self-sufficiency. We That's what we actually want to do. And the thing is, if we do that, it's going to be a negative effect on everybody else's market. Minority business controls the markets. Without minorities, it is no true market. All this spending without us, it is the world is not moving. It's time for these big companies, it's time for these huge corporations to definitely start doing something different when it comes to helping the minority group. And I'm not just speaking about black people or melanated people. Europeans are starting to become a minority as well. And we're becoming minorities to government systems. You all need to wake up and see what's going on. Right here, I will have this Google Docs attached to this video. And I don't care how many views this video gets. This is my slide, what it says. It says, we truly believe in the ripple effect. It is an outcome that is inevitable, one that has a greater purpose. We hold the quote, the ripple effect to our hearts dearly. We do. All we need is a drop in the bucket. All we need is the right amount of funding to start these programs for these kids. All we need is somebody like me and the people that I work with every single day that have already been in these work, the worst environments. Mr. Corporate is not coming down to the hood with his suit on and going to give out resources. I, I, I will, though, because I care about those kids. They don't feel the same struggle we, we felt. A lot of people don't, but those who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. I'm fighting for you all as well. You all deserve a voice. We deserve a voice. We deserve, we deserve a space where we can work in the environment that's safe for us. So what I want to do is work with Ripple work with all of these blockchains and create nonprofit organizations where these companies actually create a small percentage of funds that they often donate to these groups specifically the ones we are trying to create we already know what we want to do with this money we already know how much, what we can, how many kids we can affect, how many kids we can positively change uh, something in their lives, possibly help pay their mom's bills so that the kid at 13 don't have to worry about figuring out how to make some money. 
is not a is is way more to this crypto thing than about crypto and going to the moon. These kids, how can we leave the next generation if we're leaving the the biggest group behind? To read on, it says it is a sign of perseverance, leadership, and creativity. Creativity, excuse me. Some things that people like I relate to wholeheartedly. We want to work on the XRP ledger while establishing a safe working environment on the XRPL. With the open source programming read with open source programming readily available, we believe the entire XRP ledger is a work environment and should be regulated and treated as any other public space in the world. The XRP ledger gives minorities a safe place to work from anywhere in the world. We need a set of standard rules on how this ledger is going to be regulated. First of all, we need regulations on how things can work inside of this, this public space, public and private space. We are actually we want regulations. We are in the same fight with the, the people who want regulations for clarity. We want to start building businesses on these blockchains. Most minorities are afraid to even come onto the blockchain because they don't have anything. And we're already seeing what happens when you don't have anything and you try to go do something a big company goes and take it and they sue you until you can't do anything about it we're tired of this we want to thrive we're tired of surviving we want to thrive the system and the people who have put this system in place have had a four hundred five hundred year lead it's time that something give segregation ended less than a hundred years ago my my dad my mom my great grandma my grandma they can tell me stories of racism my, my dad's friend got tied to a railroad track and ran over by a train and he had to watch it because of racism. And you guys are telling me about an NFT project with Malcolm X's family. This is insulting to every black person, every person. This is great for Malcolm X's legacy, but Malcolm X doesn't, he doesn't represent the people of today's age. Malcolm X, we, I love him truly, dearly to my heart. It's a new generation we need younger leaders. We need kids that are 12 to be in the spotlight. Hey, I'm coding this over here. Let's let's stop watching all these cartoons and stuff. Let's actually help try to build the world. What if we provided solutions and think tanks for these minorities? Like it's a 12 year old Ethereum coder because his father, this is what these people do. And we're not upset at any other race for getting a head start or anything, but we know these systems have been in place for us to fail. It's time that these companies start doing more. It's time that we as minorities start doing more. We as minorities have to hold ourselves up to a higher standard. We have to be better human beings. We are already great people. 
we have to produce products it's time to produce it's time to create it's time to build something if you're not building you will be working for the rest of your lives it's time for a change I need everybody's help if you believe that it's, it's time for a change if you're a minority male even the females if you're a minority female if you are if you want this thing to change we need to hear your voice we need we need we need to hear the minority voice because that voice is so crushed it's so manipulated by the media we want to hear the minorities speak for themselves no longer can we can let the media control our narrative of who we are it doesn't matter if you're sleeping in a truck or a millionaire if you share the same fight the struggle that grind you know what I'm talking about we need to hear your voices and this this is this is it we're gonna we're gonna definitely be doing a whole lot more when it comes to community because if if I'm calling for all of this I, I have to be an example I have to be the example So, rolling out pretty soon, I'm going to be the first fully transparent person on the blockchain ever. Every single business expense. I will let everybody know exactly what and where money is going. The system has a distrust for minorities. I figured if I be transparent, they have no reason to not trust us. If you are doing the right thing, it's no reason for you to hide your information unless it's really truly dear to you. We understand that part. I understand it. But if we want a new type of system where it doesn't matter the color of your skin, we're going to have to we're going to have to really think about this system. People believe we're giving up privacy. Trust me. The stuff that we're giving up, they already have. You're registered as America's property. When you're born, that's what a birth certificate is. You're a product of America. You actually have a trust fund on yourself established when you're born. Most minority, we don't even know that. I'm not going to say most. When I say 2% of minorities even know that. We have a trust fund that you can go access and redeem this money from. Because if you are American citizen, you're American property as soon as you come out the womb. I need your help, guys. You hear it, you hear it in my voice. I mean, I don't know what more much more I can do. We you see that we I writ the, I wrote this whole slide in code language because we want people to create we want minorities to create we're not just asking for for money to go spend on a, a freaking truck with 32 inch rims and if you're thinking that way you shouldn't be thinking that way in the first place it's a prejudiced way of thinking
we're trying to build. We don't have the same playing field as others. So this is this is it, man. I'm, this is it. I'm going to be here for 20, 50, 40 years. I'm, fiction crypto isn't going anywhere. And to all the companies watching this, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to build on these technologies. I'm going to offer solutions. And if these companies don't want to help us out, I guess we go to something. I guess that they're literally segregating us at that point. Because that's what it feels like, especially for minority men. We're already feeling the segregation in this space. It's Fiction Crypto, everybody. Have a good one.